Hello friends. This is Faith from Firesign Tarot. I hope everyone is well. Oh, still throwing down cards for July. We're at the halfway point. I hate being late. Oh, anywho, I'm still not making decisions. So, who will the cards decide is next? Pisces. I guess it's you guys. Okay. This reading will be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it is your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. If it's not your story, check your Moon, Rising, and Venus sign readings if you feel so compelled. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. And all things can and maybe vice versa. It might play out from the perspective of our friends, the cross watchers. And dear cross watchers, you are always welcome here. And if I forget to say it at the end, thanks for stopping by today. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Pisces, why are you here? Seven of Wands. Nice. Getting a handle on things. It's the Seven of Wands. Taking control. You might be battling something internally or fighting something you can't see, but I'm calling, getting a handle on it. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? Queen of Cups. You have a very deep love for this person. You carry a chalice for them, for sure. Nice. I like it. What do you think about them? Two of Pentacles. You could possibly be juggling some motions in regards to this person. Possibly weighing some odds. Trying to keep things on the level. What do you want from them? Mm, the temperance is in the reverse. There might be some negative energy flow going on between you. Possibly they're being a little bit impatient and you want patience. We'll throw a clarifier on it in a minute. Could be a Sagittarius you're dealing with. I also have water and earth on the board and a little bit fire. How do they feel about you? The Ten of Wands in the reverse. They may feel like you're heavily burdened, like you have something you need to get off your chest, maybe. Okay. What do they think of you? <coughs> Excuse me. Six of Wands. They think you made it through the battle. They might feel like you're a little bit cocky, but we'll throw a clarifier on it. Think you're a little bit cocky. What do they want from you? The Knight of Cups. 
Oh wow. Not exactly a card of commitment, but it is a card of an exchange and emotion. Be it short term or long term. A cup is a cup. What's the obstacle? Four of Pentacles in the reverse. Well. The obstacle here is something got let loose. Something was released. What can be done? The Nine of Cups in reverse, huh? Mm. That sounds like something more of what shouldn't be done in this instance, and that's filling your cups with the wrong things. All right, let's get a little bit of clarity. Universe, Source, and Spirits. Can I get some clarity on the cards and the table for my Pisces friends for what's remaining of the month of July? Telling me no. Hold on. Not that way. This way. Yes, this way. They fly as they fly, they land as they land. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Nine of Cups. You have a great deal of love for this person. They bring you emotional fulfillment. They make you happy. feel like they could bring you the 10th cup. Mm, oy, 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 oy. And that's all well and good, Pisces. That water is a little bit dark for me. feel like I need to throw one more on that. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Speaking of dark water, it's almost a codependent energy. I don't know how healthy it is to rely on someone for your happiness. But if that's how they make you feel, that's how they make you feel. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? Three of Swords. Perhaps you think they're heartbroken about something juggling a few emotions, maybe, trying to stay in balance, King of Wands.
trying to maintain balance, trying not to drop balls, still going through a state of heartbreak. Trucking on, moving forward anyway with this King of Wands. That's the Hell or High Water card. That's the Ride or Die card. Lots of fire sign energy. A little bit of air, a lot of fire sign energy. Heavy fire sign energy here. Why is temperance reversed here? Why is temperance reversed for help? What Pisces wants from the other person? Pisces, the your card. One more. Queen of Wands in the upright. Queen of Wands, King of Wands. tells me that this attraction, at least on your side, is magnetic in a little something-something kind of manner. Sugar and spice and all things nice, know what I'm saying? And you're not quite sure what the pull is with this moon card. You just know it's there. It's an air of mystery. There's, there's that negative energy flow. Maybe you don't relate well in other ways. They make you happy. They bring you the tenth cup. And you're almost a little bit codependent. Maybe these three of swords is they bring you out of heartache. They, they keep you in balance. You might be battling something. Tell me you didn't throw a band-aid on it, Pisces. Because this is kind of feeling like a band-aid. Why is the Ten of Wands reversed here? For how the other person feels about Pisces. Four of Swords. Laying something to rest. Unable to ease a burden. Four of Swords. Three of Swords. They feel like you're just trying to get through it. Like you're trying to lay something to rest. But I know any better, I swear I was reading for a fire sign right now, Pisces. Five wands. You're not through the battle yet. They may feel like you become confrontational very quickly, all up in arms. Trying to lay something to rest, but you just can't.
Why is the Six of Wands here? Remember, how you feel and what you think don't have to be the same thing. They're controlled by two different parts of the body. Different sets of chemicals. Things of that nature. Ace of Pentacles reversed. Sleeper seeds that didn't sprout. One more. Four came out. Seven of Pentacles reversed, the Fool, the Six of Swords reversed, the Hermit reversed. Oh boy. What this says to me, they think maybe you threw a band-aid on it too. You got a little bit impatient. You jumped in. The hermit reverse doesn't walk the spiritual path to healing. He puts his head in the sand and he ignores his emotions. He doesn't want to see the light. He just wants to exist. With the Six of Swords reversed, the thoughts never left you. Wow. That's deep. What's deep? Why is the Knight of Cups here? They fly as they fly, they fall as they fall. Seven of Cups. Knight of Cups, Seven of Cups. One and seven is eight. Weighing options, keeping options open. I don't think they wanna commit, I think they wanna keep options open. They're not seeing this as a path to abundance. One more on that. One more on the Knight of Cups, please. Ace of Wands. No fire sign in it. Striking the match while it's hot, you know, it might burn out quick. It's that non committal, keep your options open, good time energy. Mm. 
Mm. Okay. Why is the Four of Pentacles reversed here? For the obstacle or challenge in the current connection. Four of Wands. One more. Death reversed. One more. in the reverse. Trying so hard to let something go. And find your happiness again and to celebrate again. To make a connection again. This could be a soulmate. It could. But soulmates don't always stay. Soulmates are just the ones we play the game with. You understand that. Sometimes soulmates come into our lives only to teach us a lesson we need to learn. And then they go. It's not up to me to tell you what that lesson is. It's up to you to figure it out. But... If you don't go on the spiritual path and you keep that hermit in the reverse and you just sit there with your head in the sand and you ignore how it felt and you throw a band-aid on it and wait for it to go away your death stays in the reverse and you don't metamorphosize on a spiritual level you have to walk that path of pain you have to go through that spiritual metamorphosis. The challenge here is you just tried to let it go. But you tried to let it go in the wrong way. Ignoring how something felt and not allowing yourself to heal and not allowing an event in your life to change spiritually that was supposed to is not forward movement. It's hitting the pause button on the remote and then the battery's dying. And then you're running around the house trying to find remote batteries. Get what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You're not moving forward. You're stuck. You fill your cups with the wrong things. It's false happiness. Sometimes liquid, sometimes solid. Why is the Nine of Cups reversed here for what needs to be done? Five of Cups, Karma in the reverse, and the Knight of Wands in the upright. Why is Karma reversed here? Why this? Why this? <laughs> Stop. 
Strength and the Ace of Cups. My friends, you have you have to process the pain. You have to let it hurt. It sucks. No. But you gotta take the band-aid off. You having a good time with the band-aid, don't get me wrong. Funny thing about band-aids. If you don't let the wound air out a little bit, you sometimes get left with a bigger scar. Knight of Wands. Yep. Yeah. Here for a good time. Not a long time, a good time. But like the Knight of Cups, he comes in as quickly as he goes out. You may just need to play the field for a while after you've processed this pain. Don't jump into more codependent energy because it makes you feel good. With the karma reversed, you have to let something die for it to resurrect into something new. And letting something die allowing that process sometimes takes strength and it takes trust strength card is a card of trust are you the lion or are you the lady Or are you both? All right, Pisces friends, let's get your advice. This was interesting. The Knight of Swords reversed in the Emperor. <clears throat> if you're stalking the social media, stop it. If you're still blowing up phones, don't. If they're blowing up your phone, don't respond. Take control of this. Take control of your own destiny. Be your own Emperor. It's an amazing feeling. Because when you're, own, you're your own emperor, you don't let nobody fill your cups with nothing. You fill your own freaking cups with what you want in them. The hanging man and the king of cups in the reverse. Accepting the fate of a situation is not emotionally closing yourself off to it. Accepting the fate of a situation is accepting it and being able to move forward and still allowing yourself to feel the emotion. You have to allow yourself to feel the emotions that go along with this. Because if you don't allow that process to occur, you will repeat the same pattern over and over and over again. Because this is a lesson that you have to learn. The two of swords in the upright and the lovers in the reverse. This was not an easy decision for anybody. It wasn't. So it's time to take the blindfold off, acknowledge the connection for what it was and that it is disconnected and, and move forward. 
this probably more than likely hurt them just as much as it hurt you. Six of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. This is beautiful. There's something coming in for you. There's something waiting for you. But it's going to be equal give and take. And it is not going to be false happiness. Where all ten cups will be full. But you have to process this first. Three of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. Lay your own foundation for your own abundance, guys. Put the work into you. Work on you for a minute. Don't worry about all this band-aids and happy jazz. Live for you. Do you. The Empress reversed in the Page of Wands. This may not have been meant to be. Maybe it was just a band-aid. But you gotta move forward on the path. You gotta take those baby steps. Because, like I said, there's something coming for you. I don't want to call it fire sign. There's a lot of fire sign energy on this board. I'm, I'm feeling fire. I'm feeling fire. There's a match coming that may strike and burn for a minute. Okay, Pisces, this is what I have for you for the month of July. Let me know what happens. Know that you're loved. Be blessed, my friends. Take care. I'll catch you guys in a couple of weeks for your August read. Finally getting my energy back. As we hour by hour, minute by minute. Take the steps out of retrograde. 